uh, I played like 30 minutes earlier today. I didn't want to get too far ahead of where this uh, playthrough on the stream had left off, but I did some inventory cleaning, um, did a couple of the side quests, uh, did not advance the main story at all. So that's where we are right now. So... Um, I did finish the last turn-in on, was it the Roseway? And then I tried to go back to, what was her name? Uh, Gladys, and she would not take the research that I got there. So, I think I may have to pay her 10,000 bits. Uh, even though I've got two different researches from the Roseway, they, uh, either... She's not taking it because of the way that I got them, or it's bugged. I'm not sure. Or I'm, I'm not sure. So, that said, um, let's do Max's quest. I'll bring Max and Sam. I need to go to the Groundbreaker. How are you? I'm doing good, Rooster. Doing good. Um, I had a stomachache for a lot of today, but I'm doing okay now. I played uh, a lot of Minecraft with my son today. He was very happy with that. All right, so we're going to not bring Parvati. We are going to bring Max, and Sam is non-negotiable. We're always going to bring Sam. It's not the best choice. It's Spacer's choice. You can flag all items in your inventory as junk. Yeah, we know that. With just a little science, you can take it with your weapon and armor to workbench, increasing the damage they inflict to prevent. I saw, uh, I was watching a review for this game today, and I was, I was careful to avoid spoilers. And they were saying that uh, some, the only complaint that people had was that they thought it was too short. So, I don't know. I don't know how long the game is. Okay, we got Max. Uh, it looks like he wants me to take him over here. Have I been in here before? Restricted access? Oh, he wants me to go into restricted access? How do I use the holographic shroud? Or can I climb through the pipes or something? Oh shoot, I just stole. Oh! Crap. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Just don't make more paper work, alright? Mmm, I can't believe how many times that's worked. You can do it in like 30 hours if you do it every co Whoa. Do you want a flaw? Personality? No! Personality is one of my primary stats. Reject. Get that out. Oh, ground baker reputation decreased. Crap. Okay, that's not good. Um, shroud happens automatically? Okay, thank you. Well, let's find out. Holographic disguise activated. Your shroud is activated, giving you temporary access to this restricted area. Moving drains the shroud's energy when it runs out, personnel will see and interrogate you. Talk your way out of the interrogation to reset your shroud. It will get harder to talk your way out the more you are interrogated. Keep your sights up, friend. Oh, that's Max. I thought that was a guard. Was I? Was this even? No, oh my gosh. I thought I was supposed to steal this. Uh, how do I get over there? Yeah, I know our precious rep. Nicely done. Just yank the drive, and I'll do the rest. Uh, eject docking records data cartridge. What else we got? Detained a freelancer who's cagey about his business, confiscated his personal belongings while he waited for questioning. Uh, list of his stuff. He fled before we could get down to it, left his things behind, so they're stored in the back of the security station until the idiot shows his face again, which is likely never. Uh, Sublight put a bit on one of our impounds. Generous one, too. Negotiate for the usual finder's fee and then give Lilia her salvage. Brawl at the last hope. Freelancers vs. Board. Freelancers won. Arrested a freighter captain with more bits than brains. Hawthorne's ship impounded by order of Udon Bedford. Still no clue why Hawthorne associates with that board snake. Yeah, Hawthorne. A guy from the back bays roughed up the moon kid. Raving mad, warned me that the moon was going to bring about the end times. He was flying high on whatever McRed grows down there. Got a sworn testimony that McRed was spotted at the rest and go, not that anyone will corroborate it. Reminder to keep an eye on Gladys. Now that we have the data cartridge, I can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Uh, 
Okay. Got it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. All right. Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bitcart he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Uh... This seems awfully convenient. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. All right, let's go. I like how they don't notice that my visage completely changes the moment I step outside. Uh, am I supposed to get back on the ship? Looks like I am. All right. I'm watching a show. Okay, I hope you enjoy your show, Rooster. Uh, Chad, if anyone's interested, I started the new giveaway for next Friday. So here's the link if you want to get your name in the hat for a chance to win the Humble Bundle Welcome next Friday. Captain. Uh, fine scholar. All right, here we go. Monarch. Have I been here before? I don't know if I've been here before. Message from Dr. Wells. He'd like to congratulate you on finding a route to Monarch. Put him on screen. Cascadia is utterly seething with dangerous, highly aggressive creatures more than capable of tearing you limb from limb. You'd have to be a lunatic to land in Cascadia, and I'm reasonably certain I tested your brain for incipient signs of insanity. Trust me, talk to Gladys Cult Kelly. All right. Uh, I'm going to fight my way overland to Stellar Bay. Tell me what you need. You'll need to speak with oh wait, Hiram did I just Blythe. get access to Stellar Bay? He's known as the information broker, and for good reason. Maybe I don't need if the ten thousand. If anyone knows where I can find those chemicals, it's Hiram. I need those chemicals to revive the Hope's colonists. They can help us fight back against the board. They can help us set things right. If we don't put a stop to the board, they're going to drive this colony toward a complete societal collapse. You'll see what I mean when you arrive on Monarch. Okay. What do I need to do? You'll want to hire the services of a skilled guide. I recommend a hunter by the name of Neoka. Frequents the drinking establishments of Stellar Bay. Very hard to miss. Once you have everything you need, make Let's your way to Neoka. Hiram Blythe's compound. Huh. Seems that we've stumbled, by doing this side quest, it seems we've stumbled across a way to get to Stellar Bay without paying the 10,000. Best of luck, every- Captain, an unusual wavelength is coming through Monarch's aether wave frequencies. The Eternal is in us all. The OSI would have you believe oh, that your no. place in society, indeed in the universe, is preordained. A man who works in the mines of Hephaestus, coating his lungs in mercury dust for not but a few bits a night. This fate is set in stone? When he dies young, coughing up black blood, oh, his gosh. part in a grand plan? No, I say. Greatness is in everyone. Not just those so fortunate trying to as stir to have been the born into prosperity. That was unexpected and odd. I thought so too, Ada. Uh, what was that? Analyzing the subtextual ordering. I believe it was a type of sermon, Captain. Very zealous in origin. All right. Uh, let's see. We're hungry. We're thirsty. Let's eat one of those. Drink one of these. So I had planned, last time I played, I would planned to put the uh, Silver Tongue um, upgrade into this armor. Uh, but the armor already has upgrades in it, and it wouldn't let me do that. So I was very sad about that. Can't do that. Alright, and this is for... I'm trying to verify... I mean, this is... Okay, yeah, we're going to bring Max. You can store some of your food in your captain's quarters. Alright. Uh, do I want to do that now? 
Is that what's weighing me down? Do I have a lot of food? Oh, shoot. Okay. I wish I could sort by weight. Prison dinner. Oh, here we go. Forty nine pounds of wrapped on meat. Boom. That was the culprit. Forty nine pounds of raptor meat. That's what was doing it. I had thought all that raptor meat was going to the junk section and was getting auto-sold. I was wrong. That takes care of my issue. And it looks like we're actually hungry again. There we go. All right, good to go. Parv, watch this ship, please. We're going on an adventure. Oh, by the way, he's here. I almost forgot. His Majesty's camera. Keeping a caffeine, water, and food on you is a good idea. I've just been kind of keeping ca Ooh. I've been kind of assuming water and caffeine now were just the same. A wild wasteland. Danger and adventure surely await us. This unit is not insured. This unit is not insured, he says. Hmm. Da -da -da -da. What we got here? Plasma armor rating five. All right. I uh, should have auto saved when I exited the ship, right? God, it's so muggy here. It's making me like blink. Incoming. Whoa. Right I didn't. I thought that was just a critter. Right. I did not think that was a hostile. That's why I would just like what well, is whatever. Okay, so the sprats on this world are possibly hostile. Muck, what kind of car do you drive? Uh, right now, a very rusty Toyota Corolla. Very rusty. I mean, I'm very much the kind of person, John, that if it will get me from A to B and the gas mileage is good, I'm I'm fine with that. I would not care if every door was a different color. I'm a function over form when it comes to my transportation. on the landing pad and we looked down we saw a lot of dinosaurs. Oh, here's some. Mega Raptodon. Try to squish it. Sometimes violence is the only way. Oh shoot, Sam just died. Oh my god, what level are these things? Level 17? What? Level 17? Holy poop, I think I just hit 12. Why, uh, why did the quest send me here? Oh my lord. Yo, Sam got popped. Take someone to watch your back, please. Okay. Let's, uh, let's find a different one. Good lord. 
Uh, Ellie's... Okay, let's let's go try to do Ellie's quest. God dang! <laughs> like, I'll do something a few levels above me, but not 50% of my levels above me. You're free to disembark. Yeah, but it's a good indicator of how tough that zone is, Tiger. That might just be the level of that zone. Uh, I need to sleep. So, I mean, I've got other things I can do, Tiger, so why not just do one of those, right? It took me many attempts to figure out how to do it, but I got, um... I got Minecraft working on LAN, so I was able to play with my kid today. He was thrilled, so we've got a, a separate multiplayer world now. Alright, if we don't need Vicar, let's get Parv back in the party. We managed to find two patches of diamonds very quickly. Surprised by that. I was having trouble. I would try to copy the auto cactus farming device from our bone zone world. I could not get it to like the hopper with the treasure chest next to it. I couldn't get it to work. I got it to work by digging down lower and putting the chest under the hopper. It's just awkward to get to, and it is a infinite cactus farm. But I couldn't get the hopper to connect from the side the way it is in that one. Hey, man, animal, what's up? Uh, da, 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 da. I know there was a way to get in there. There was like a tunnel or something we found. Where was it? Sublight? Have I been in there? Oh gosh. Does this go up to the boss guy's office? I don't remember. Yeah, it does. Okay. Don't need to be here. Uh, the dangle should point into the... Okay. Since I was looking at it from above, it was hard to tell. I could tell it had extended, but I couldn't tell if it was connected. You can grab free stuff. Oh, I just got a Moon Man helmet thing. Rest and go key card. Ooh. Ooh. This is the rest and go. Ho ho! Now I can open these safes. Oh, wait. Yeah, oh, the, it, wow, the safe, like, ate the card? Okay, I can only use it one time. That's, uh, not a very efficient safe. I see you have a new robot friend. I do, his name is Sam, and he likes to clean. He's great. Where on earth was that tunnel that I encountered that one time? Let's see who's up here. You can put the moon helmet on and get extra dialogue from Martin. Okay. Look, Sam. Sam uses uh, boosters to go up and down the elevator. Oh my god. I know there was some, some spot around here where I was like in a maintenance area behind the walls. It's past the guy leaning, then duck under. Thank you. I see it. Alright, here we go. So I got here way earlier. And I stopped because we didn't have the holographic shroud at the time. Which is now active.
Medical Bay key card. Oh, I've got that talent where things highlight from farther away now, so it's easier to see things that are interactable. Alright, so every time I take a step, the shroud drains a little. So I want to make only required movements. Contagion threat level ultra mega high. For the last ratchet on rotten time, leave me in peace. You whole headed quacks do know that restful recuperation requires not being disturbed, don't you? Ellie sent me. What? Why? Everything's fine. We're all fine here. No need for her to be worrying her pretty little head about me. I'm just terrible, dreadful sick is all. Got a cough that won't quit and sores all over my body. Highly, lethally contagious. Oh my god. I'll be fine. So it's like a kid calling home. in sick to school for the first time. Hmm. Intimidate. Open the door before I kick it down. Should have known she'd send a bruiser after me. Damned if I don't rue the day I saved her scrawny little hide. Inadvertently, I befriended a bloodhound in the process. All right, okay. We can discuss this like the level-headed folk that we are. Seems I've got to do something before Ellie goes jabbering my business to anyone with one ear and an intent to listen. The truth is, I'm not sick. Yeah, I figured. If what I'm about to tell you to anyone, I will deny it with my dying breath. You, uh, ain't with the board, are you? See, I owe them a lot. I might have missed a payment or two, and the other night I swear someone was following me back to my room. So, I hold up here to lay low. Uh, <laughs> lie. I do work for the board, actually. Oh, laws. Wait, don't gut me and skin me yet. Please, talk to Bedford. <laughs> Tell him I can pay, um, a part of it, and I'm a useful person to know. Just ask Ellie. Surely you wouldn't drag me before him. I'm dreadful contagious. I just know if I face him, I'm dead. Mmm, what did you do? What? No, I didn't do anything. I'm a law-abiding denizen of this ship, I swear. Yet you think the board had someone follow you, and now you're hiding. Think? No. I recognize a contracted killer when I see one, thank you. In my line of work, that's a skill you develop during week one. Assuming you want to keep breathing. Alright, I'll fess this part up too. If it means you'll help me. I'm a thief. I specialize in particularly high-end and historically valuable items. Three weeks back, I caught rumor that the Blood Tear Diamond, last worn by an heiress on the Lost Hope, had surfaced for the first time in 70 years. The Lost Hope again, chat. So you stole it? If I had, you think I'd be hiding out in the Med Bay? I was gonna steal it, lined up Udom as my buyer. He paid half up front to finance the operation. Let's just say things went sideways about the time I got my hands on the diamond, and it crumbled to stardust in my palm. <laughs> Anywho, I barely made it out with my life, and nary a plan to make back Udom's deposit I'd spent. Hmm. I can talk to Udom. Thanks for helping me with the board. You're a real pal. Or I guess I should say, Ellie is one, huh? All right. Minimal necessary movements. Ooh, just enough juice in the hologram. All right, oh, well, let's go talk to Ellie. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Uh, I believe she was out here. Any word on Jessie? She's in debt to the board to think someone's after her. I'll handle it. Good luck. The board's got an office on the promenade just before engineering. You can't miss yeah, it. Yeah, we've met. Okay. I thought she'd want to know more, but okay. How do you do? Ah, oh, how might I assist you? Uh, I'm here about Jessie Doyle. I want her debt settled. 
Miss Doyle owes the board a significant sum. Alas, the only collateral she has is her organs. Compulsory donation is quite legal in such cases. Compulsory organ donation. Persuade? She's more... She's worth more alive than dead. Put her under indenture contract. That's not unreasonable. I guess it's better than losing your organs, but... I don't know, Captain. It just doesn't seem right. Miss Doyle is deeply in debt, and the board has every right to do whatever they like to recoup that debt. What guarantee do I have that she'll agree to the terms you negotiate? Uh, hmm. <laughs> None, I suppose, but if she doesn't show up for work, kill her like you planned. Hmm. I'm not sure the price of her organs will allow a profit in that case. I expect her liver is, uh, used goods, as it were. See you, Rooster. I will recall my collection agent. Tell Miss Doyle to report to me promptly for her first assignment. Now, is there anything else you need, or can I return to my work? Uh, all right. Talk to Ellie. Wish I could say it was good to see you, Ellie. At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? That is a very Nothing makes distinct me nose, chat. Even. Except being right. That's nice, too. The good news came through the wireless. Looks like you paid my debt to Jesse. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you what, I'm a little short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and scrapper. better than average. We hate bones. scrappers. If you're looking for a medic, and what is I a sawbones? Ah, uh, groundbreaker are now revering. Are you saying you'll work for me because I helped Jesse? If I'm being honest, and I prefer not to, I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway. And you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. Uh, what exactly did Jessie do for you, anyway? She helped me win a bet. What was the bet? We were on a smuggling run planet side when our point man bet me I couldn't outrun a mantisaur. And? And, as you can probably guess, the thing was faster than it looked. Probably would have caught me if Jesse hadn't picked it off. So she saved your life. Yeah, but the important thing is I won the bet. <laughs> Welcome aboard. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Ooh. Uh, Parvati, head back to the ship for now. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're real happy to have you. All right, what do we got? All right, she, oh, wow, that's a pretty good gun. All right, do I have any armor you can use? All right, why don't you take this and this for now? Let's see what skills you got. You're gonna need some hit points. And let's, uh, let's just do that for now. What's your special? Quick draw. Ellie draws her pistol and fires off a series of precision shots at her target. Bleed does additional damage over time, reduces body attributes, does not apply to mechanicals. Disarm removes the enemy's held weapon for 15 seconds. That's a long time. Does not apply to special enemies such as those with attached weapons. I like mucking around. Mucking around is great. Alright. So she's got 2,000 health. Sam's got 3,100. I've got 1950, okay. So let's lower her threat generation. And she can keep her gun, because it's pretty good. Okay. Uh, Ellie, do you, well, yeah. Ellie, do you have any quests for me? Something on your mind? Uh, if we're gonna work together, I'd like to know more about you. I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. <laughs> Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. Uh... What's a zero-G cocktail? It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. Usually zero G brew with some spectrum vodka if you're lucky. Purple berry shake if you're not. 
I like it. I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. <laughs> That's a good attitude. All right, back no to business. No complaints here. All right. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, what else we got? Uh, speak to Lilia. Okay, so I think I've got access to Stellar Bay. Let's try talking to Lilia again. Gracious. This is very strange. Anytime, sweetheart. I've got access to Stellar Bay, I think, but she's still acting like I don't. Okay, uh, what is this one? Okay, that's at the really high level area. Find Captain Earring on Scylla. I don't know what level Scylla is. Acquire the science weapon on the Groundbreaker. All right, all right, here's something new. This is here. Uh, my boyfriend and I bought a Switch today. Ooh. What games you gonna play? Wait. Why is it telling me to leave? Like... We're on the Groundbreaker. Look in Gladys's shop for old records. Gladys? Which one? Was Gladys the old woman? Yeah, this is Gladys. I <laughs> uh am I supposed to like rob the safe? Like right here? <laughs> it seems really dumb. Maybe save? Oh man. Saving is such a pain in this. <laughs> <laughs> 